Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor this evening to uh, introduce Professor Roger Martin. Uh, I remember when Roger arrived at the Rodman School 15 years ago or so. It was not then what it is today. Over his term as dean, the school has grown incredibly. About, um, about four months ago, I guess, at one of the events uh, marking the, uh, the end of Roger Martin's term as dean, I, I was sitting with the benefactor of the school, Joseph Rotman, and I asked Joseph the following question. I said, when you first became, became engaged at the Rotman School, did you imagine the transformation that would be become the Rotman School? And he looked around the great building and everyone in this room has seen our new building. And he said, you know, possibly I could have imagined a new building like this, but I never could have imagined the academic transformation that has come to the Rotman School. Under Roger Martin's uh, tenure as Dean, the school has grown to be one of the top business schools in the world. Um, I should also mention, we've had a debate about how to say this. As, Roger, as, as Dean Roger Martin raised, $250 million for the school. So we had a debate, is it better to say 250 million or a quarter of a billion? And so we've been debating that. Uh, but what a legacy. When you think about what has happened to the Rotman School over the last 15 years, it's quite remarkable. And for that, thank you very much, Roger Martin. And as Raja said, it's not just for the school, it's for Toronto, it's for Ontario, and it's for the country. So for that, we're indebted. But I need to say something else about Roger. Roger has been inc incredibly supportive of our efforts to engage the Arab world. Under his leadership, we, be we um, started a study tour to the Middle East. So I took MBA students to Dubai, to Abu Dhabi, to Jordan, to Egypt, and we took them to Turkey but got into trouble because Turkey is not part of the Middle East, it's part of Europe. Uh, so uh, we had, but that's another story. But um, I want to also say that when we first announced the study tour to the Middle East, we had more students apply to go to the Middle East than to apply to go to China. So uh, with the organic growth of the um, Middle East Business Association and interest at the Rotman School, there's an increased awareness and desire for students and faculty to learn more about the Middle East. It was also under Roger's leadership that we began the first MBA course in the country in Islamic finance. And I've been told we are the highest ranked school on the Financial Times list that has an MBA course in Islamic finance. Um, we've had two conferences over the last two years on Canadian business opportunities in the Middle East. Our third installment is this coming January. And one of the key topics in that will be uh, Islamic uh, finance. Uh, Last year, the, or maybe it was the year before, the UAE sent a delegation to Canada to mend fences between Canada and the UAE, specifically around the visas and other issues as well. And that delegation did visit the Rotman School. And Roger Martin in the, in the Rotman School of Management signed a memorandum of agreement with the government of Dubai to help co to cooperate on the development of a green economy college. And work continues in that, in that realm to help Dubai and the UAE more generally become more competitive. And I, and I must say, the session that we had in Dubai just uh, a year ago or so was all around integrative thinking, which is um, the method that's been used at the Rotman School, pioneered by Roger Martin, and it's really the whole MBA program is now around that. So thank you, Roger, very much for your support. Um, but I just want to finish with a little story. Um, Dan Dinesh, uh, general manager at LUTA, SS LUTA, a big conglomerate in the UAE. Dan Dinesh came to visit Roger Martin and we met in your Dean's conference room. And one thing you know that whenever you meet, whenever you meet an Arab, the last thing you want to, well, how do I say this? You don't want to say, I like your jacket. <laughs> because if you say that, then Arab hospitality says, I must therefore give you that jacket. So Roger learned that lesson um, and um, you know, I, I just want to finish by saying Roger we're incredibly um, happy and appreciative of your support 
I'm not going to say I like your car, okay? <laughs> But just let this be a reflection of Arab hospitality um, to acknowledge your and recognize your support. Thank you very much, Roger.